In eastern Washington state lies Moses Lake, with over 120 miles of shoreline covering 6,500 acres. Officer Glenn Steffler has a lot of territory to cover. We get a lot of underage uh, drinking going on out here. And it's not so much just that, but it's what they're doing when they're drinking. Younger kids that are shooting handguns off and they're target practicing, which that they're not allowed to do in our lands here. I like sneaking up on guys, but you just gotta be cognizant of firearms. I always try to swing through here later on in the evenings. When you're working at night, you gotta be that much more careful when you are trying to watch people because you really have to be cognizant of not only your headlights, of the brake lights and of the dome lights. So I have foam that I'll put up inside my dash. So basically I'm trying to minimize every single light just to avoid a detection. A group of fishermen down here just next to the water. So I'm just gonna try to be a little quiet and hopefully surprise them before they see us. All right. That is a rattlesnake. I heard him rattling. I knew he was close. I just didn't know where. I just froze up and turned on my flashlight, and luckily I found him about three feet from my foot. But the second time this year, I almost got bit. I'm not a big fan of snakes. Yeah, the trouble with these younger snakes is that uh, they have just as much venom as an adult, but they can't regulate. I mean, they're almost more dangerous than a full-grown one. I don't really want to run it over, but I don't want to come back in the dark, and he's right by my driver's side door again. Uh, I just got my uh, ORV flag. I'm just going to move this rattlesnake. He's going to be pissed. Move. Move. They can be life-threatening. You're gonna have a fever, you're gonna have that sense of shock because it just sends that venom straight to your system. It's something that you wanna treat, you know, as serious as possible and just don't mess with them, ever. Yeah, you're right. You just gotta watch out because they could strike the entire length of their body. Ah. Just wants to bite. Yeah, that's good enough. There he goes. Get him away from our truck. Those fishermen are packed up and gone, gone home. Just kind of a funny little deal. You never know what you're gonna run into. Anyway, I was able to throw it off so nobody else gets bit or it doesn't get ran over by another rig driving out here, so. Worked out for both parties, I guess. Because I had a couple fishermen that were fishing really close by and you don't want to see those guys get bit. And the nearest hospital from here is about 35, 40 miles away, so it could be a bad situation. 